Hello everyone, this is Linda and welcome to my channel and if this is your first time I welcome you to my arts and crafts channel. So today guys I have a um, small little um, art um, supply haul to share with you guys. So I'm going to start with the first thing. I got these artist brushes off of Amazon and they are by the same company that makes the gouache um, paints there. So um, I read the reviews and the, re the reviews were quite nice. Um, they came in that cute little container and you get five brushes um, and they are very nice. Uh, so they have the name written, written here and then on the brush itself, it's um, up here at the top, it'll give you the size. So you get a 12 and a 10, a 9, and a 6, and a 5. So um, these are supposed to be specially made for the gouache paints that um, are in the big set. Uh, I haven't tried them yet. I think they're really pretty. Um, they were stiff when I got them. Of course, you know, they, they put that glue on there to keep their shape. But I washed all that off and they're ready to go. So I just wanted to share with you guys these that I got. And then the next item I got was... Get them here. I got me some... Um, these were by... Brute Ferner, the black and white um, colored pencils. I wanted the white ones for drawing and for doing the highlights. Um, I think the white colored pencil makes a brighter highlight than a white charcoal does. So, um, and here's what you get in this set. You get six white and you also get Six of the black. Um, I know the um, Brunt Burners are a fairly good pencil. Um, they also have these in um, different colors, but I bought this for highlighting and drawing for the white. Um, but you can always use black also. It was a nice little set. So I got those. So what else did I get here? Okay. Oh, now this is for journaling. I did get me some glassine bags. So, um, and of course they had them in different sizes. I wanted these to um, do some printmaking on, um, like with the gel plate, and then uh, also just to stamp on. So I'll pull one out so you guys can see the bags. But they're just those little glassine bags, and. You get a hundred in this set. I believe these were six something. Um, six six fifty nine, but I think you got like ten percent off. But I'll link everything below that I got here off of Amazon. Okay. And then the next item was I got a set of these Mr. Pen 14 count sketch pencils. They range from 6H up to 10B. Um, and they skip uh, uh, like the 9B, but it's 6H, 5H, 4H, 3H, 2H. Then it goes to HB, which is just your regular middle to run pencil. Then it goes B, 2B, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, but no 9B. Um, I never had a 10B, but this is what they look like inside. And they even send you a little sticker of a mustache. Uh, and the best thing I really, I thought this was, this is very nice. Inside was, if you scan this, you can get a free gift. But if you're not happy with any of your purchase, no matter how long you've had these pencils, they will refund your money. So, very good. Um, so, I thought I would really quickly here kind of show you these pencils what they look like. So I'll just start with the, uh, let's see, you guys can see this. 
Let me get this under here. I'm gonna need to look to see where I am on the monitor here. Okay, so we're gonna start with um, the 2H, and they already come already uh, sharpened, of course. But you know, your 2H is your harder lead, and it's more for uh, a detail. So let's just keep moving, and you can see. Go to the 3H. Okay. This one is the 4H. Really nice um, uh, tip on these pencils too. Okay, now 5H. And I can tell the difference in the pencil because there it is a harder lead. Okay, now we are at 6H. Now, we'll go to HB, and this is just your regular pencil. Okay. I'll put HB here. And then the next ones are all going to be Bs, which this is just a regular B pencil. And of course they're going to start getting darker because your B pencils are a softer lead and they are darker. Okay, so we're just this is the 2B. So far I'm really liking these sketch pencils. 3B. This is a 4. No wait, I'm sorry. That was the 4. I'm backwards. So here's Here's the three. <laughs> I did that. I put, put them in there backwards. Okay. And then we already did four. So we're moving on to five. Really getting dark now. Here's the six. I'm just going to put it down here. And the lead is really, is really soft. Really nice. Let's go to the 8B. Oh, these are really nice, guys. I like these. And then the 10. And the as you go through these and you get in these HB, these are these, um, the B, the LEDs are thicker. Much thicker than what I started with. Okay, so there is the 10. Alright, very nice pencils. Not bad price either. Um, I've never heard of uh, this company before, but... I thought I'd give these a try. I like Dollar and Rowany pencils. Um, when I was in college, uh, I was told that they were really good pencils, and I am having a hard time finding those pencils. And I had bought like three packs when I was in college, so now um, they are. Of course, I didn't go to college till later. I went when I was 47 and graduated six years after that. But I've was been trying to find something similar, but these are not bad. Not bad pencils at all. Okay, I got one more thing to show you guys. Now, this last item I did not get at um, Amazon. I found this at our local Ollie's store. So, went in Ollie's, this was about a week ago, and they had a bunch of Arteza products. So, the first product um, I found these DIY frame mixed media pad okay in a bigger and I was only gonna get that and I decided to go get the smaller kit and now with the kit you get the watercolor pencils so this was ten dollars so this itself sells I thought I seen where it's sold for 17 something on their website. I'm not sure if they have this on their website, but what this paper is, you can fold this and it's already perforated into these gorgeous little frames. My gosh, how cool is that? So I just folded it up, you know, where it, it sh they're fairly easy to put together, but they're little frames and my gosh, you can do a a really cute artwork and hang these up on a wall and you can have a series of flowers or 
botanicals or birds or whatever you like, um, what kind of, whatever art you like to do. So I thought I would give that a try. I thought it was a nice little kit for $10. So um, let's see if there's anything else. I think that's all what I had to show. Oh, wait, there is one more item. It's not really art related, but they had this chalk cal calendar there. Um, let me, I know there's a glare, so I'm going to take it out of this plastic and show you guys. This calendar was, let me see, it was $5.99, and I thought it was really cute. I'm going to take it out of the plastic so there won't be such a glare for you guys. Okay, it's 11 by 17. It says it's easy to mount, and take this off here. It has its own chalk pencil that comes with right here. So cool. I have several of those from the Dollar Tree. It has its mounted screws here in the back. And then it also comes with two magnets that you can place on there. That is so cool. So, um... It's really nice. I'm going to put it in here in the studio and I'm going to try to market when I want to do videos because my videos are so like so sporadic. Um, I didn't videotape um, a few, well, I don't know, it was a couple weeks because I was sick. I had got the big C. So, and I'm just now getting my strength back and starting to feel like myself. It was a rough, rough two weeks. It really was. Um, don't know how I got it. We were always so careful. We all got it. Everybody in my family got it. And we were always so careful sanitizing, wear our mask, and oh my goodness, and we, we still got it. But uh, I'm, I'm glad that that's over. Okay, so that is it. Um, stay tuned because I will be doing a video very soon. I was um, approached by a company to do um, a review of their products and I've gotten them and I will be doing that next and I will be showing you guys the products unboxing and then I'll be doing a video of the products so um, I want to thank everybody for tuning in and for watching this uh, video um, please feel free to share my videos and stay tuned for the channel name change. I'm still kind of thumbing through. Really don't know what I want to change it to. But I want something creative. I don't know. I, I just have to think about it more. Because, um, you know, you got to make sure you don't pick somebody else's name. And it has to run through the, the thing. So, um, but I'm rattling on now. But thank you guys so, so much for watching. And... If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please share my videos, guys. It means a lot. And I will see you guys real soon. Until then, bye-bye, guys.